in life you've got to learn to roll with the uh, changes <laughs> unexpected as they are all the time um, my balance the scales Facebook page has been unpublished because it goes against community standards um, you might think that it might be because of the subject that I was focused on but I had to have a little dig at yeah hang on look down here and see the last post I did <laughs> uh, yeah I had to have a little dig didn't I and uh, so yeah they unpublished my page might like to think it was um, because others complained but I just think uh, <laughs> yeah well he doesn't like having himself bagged on his own platform, does he? <laughs> anyway, no dramas. Well, it's it's just taken me a bit today to... I've, um, I hadn't... My other channel, not a real name. I have just finished uploading and bringing all the videos up to date again. I'd been really slack and hadn't been uploading them there. So I'm going to use, well, I think I might use the links from that channel on this new page. Bounce back. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just going to, as you can see, I can still see everything that's there. So it's just a matter of putting all the links back in again and leaving out the last one. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. You know, when I kept looking at his face, it was like, yeah, I should just get rid of it just so I don't have to look at it. And, hey, this is what you get for not keeping to the subject. And you've got to, well, I had to have a dig at him. <laughs> Pay the price. So I'm not on Balance the Scales anymore. I'm on Bounce Back. And what I've done on my channel too is that... Um, both my backup channel and my current channel I've linked so this one will go to my current channel and on my current channel this will go to that one and both of these Facebook lead to bounce back and both of these little archons uh, icons leads to archive org where I've got a lot of documents and videos and things like that and a vast library of books and information you know a lot of hard to find transcripts to or manuscripts at books that you couldn't get until people started uploading scanned copies of them onto the computer brilliant yeah you couldn't even order them in through libraries or bookstores or anything like that out of print and uh, so a lot of the rare publications are actually becoming not so rare as that people have access to them. So if you, um, I've got heaps of stuff on Archive Org that I uploaded before I even did videos. So it's a little bit of a, a glitch that I've had to take time today to sort of tidy everything up and put things back the way they were and you know, I haven't finished obviously yet I've still got all the posts to do on bounce back but once that's done it'll be all back to well so that it's accessible for people to post around Facebook again and I'm sorry that I'll keep to the subject this time and I won't have a dig at you know who <laughs> That's what you get. He's got no sense of humour. Seriously. But then again, he should have a sense of justice and right. But we are talking about certain people and, well, we know. So if you wondered what I feel about censorship, look, it's out there. It is what it is at the moment. And ultimately, you've just got to use all the tricks in the book that you know and then some to work around I mean there are some things that yes you're going to have a hard time bringing up 
on uh, certain platforms anymore. But you can certainly make reference to them. Like if I wanted to, if if there weren't already enough people out there getting themselves banned and locked down or shut down or their channels closed or whatever because they're talking about things like, you know, vaccines and things like that, um, I don't need to be doing that because there's already enough people doing that. So, But if I did want to do something like that, I could always do a video, upload it to Archive.org, and then do a video that I can upload to YouTube or Facebook and make reference with the link to the one on Archive.org because it's not censored there. It's a library and it's, you know, I mean, pretty much unless you're infringing upon copyright, uh, then you risk losing your uploads. But if you're, there is no censorship of free speech on Archive.org. You can um, have your say and then do a video, a very brief one to introduce it and then say, well, I've discussed it in detail on this link. I used to do things like that and utilise BitChute, but yeah, BitChute didn't work for me either because clearly if you don't like Max Egan, BitChute's not a place for you, you, you know. So, um, and besides it's got really slow, so I'm glad I found other ways. And the thing is that to create as many different places too where people can access information. When you upload things to Archive.org, it then does become searchable on all the search engines automatically because it's part of an archived library. So if you want anything to be kept confidential, don't utilise that. Or if you did want to keep it confidential, you can always put it inside a zip because um, they can't see inside a zip when they search things. So, well, you can always encrypt the file too that you upload. Uh, but anyway, th I'm just saying that there are many different ways to get around the current level of um, what you can and can't say, what's acceptable at the moment. I mean, a couple of years ago, you couldn't even bring up the difference between genders. Well, I got interrupted on several fronts there, completely got off track. I don't know what I was talking about, but I've pretty much said everything that I wanted to say. I've just um, had to reshuffle things because my balance the scales was unpublished, and I've set up another one on Bounce Back. And I've created links on both of my YouTube channels now to link to all the various places. I might put one up there for the blog, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, I do actually have um, other things that I'm trying to get organised right now because um, starting to bring all the evidence together in a time flow, it's starting to actually have more dates and relevance to it now so that it can then be used as the structure for evidence and um, yeah starting to get serious on the other side of it well we had success before Christmas and uh, well we <laughs> the past lost investors uh, had success so just another heads up to the past lost investors out there that if you haven't got your um, claim into the liquidators you need to get that in before the end of the month or you're going to miss out for good anyway so that's my um, video for today <laughs> I'll catch you next time bye